All right, it's story time. Did you go somewhere exciting today? What's the most exciting place you've ever been? Cool. What did you do there? Sounds fun. Today we'll hear a story about someone who goes on an adventure in space. Space is an incredible place. There's no gravity in outer space, which means you'll float around like a balloon if you go there. There's also no air in outer space, which means you'll have to stay inside a spaceship or wear a heavy spacesuit if you want to breathe. People who go to outer space are called astronauts. They go through a lot of training. They have to get very good at science, math, and be very strong, because getting to outer space is very difficult. Sam was a boy who dreamed of going to outer space. Every day, he would put on a cardboard box and pretend it was his space helmet. He would build his own rockets and zoom about the house, imagining that he was going to outer space. One day, he got to visit the space center. The space center is a big museum all about going to outer space. He saw some of the rockets and didn't realize how big they were. Some of them are bigger than even the tallest building he had ever seen. He also got to see really cool things that had gone to outer space, like the space capsule which came back to Earth and a lunar rover which drove on the moon. But his favorite thing he got to see was the spacesuit. The spacesuit was so cool. It was really big and had a very shiny helmet. Sam imagined himself getting into a spacesuit and floating around in outer space. From that moment on, he had a dream. He would become an astronaut. Sam studied every day. He knew he would need to be very good at science and math, so he paid extra attention in his classes. His teachers were very impressed. He got a hundred percent on every quiz and test, and made straight A's in those classes. He also knew he would need to be very healthy, so he worked very hard in his gym class. As he got older. He applied to astronaut school. At astronaut school, he learned all the different things he would need to do as an astronaut. They practiced building things underwater because that was kind of like being in outer space with no gravity. Sam also learned how to fly the spaceship. He was really excited, but it was really tough. You had to be very, very careful. Because a spaceship can move in any direction, and you can't make any mistakes. Sam worked very hard in astronaut school, and eventually he graduated at the top of his class. He was very proud and ready for his first mission to go to outer space. He climbed into his spacesuit. It was a little smaller than the ones he remembered as a kid. But it was very exciting. Then he began the long climb to the top of the spaceship. It was very, very tall. But once he got to the top, he felt very proud. He was so excited that his first mission was going to start in a few minutes. He got inside his spaceship and buckled up because he knew it was going to be a bumpy ride. They did some checks to make sure everything was safe, and then they began the countdown. He heard the numbers loud and clear: ten, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And he felt his rocket ship shake as it went into the air. The engines were so strong, it felt like he was getting squished. But after a few short minutes, he felt very light. Then he realized there was no gravity, and he could float around like a balloon if he wanted to. But there was no time to have fun. He had a mission to do, and he was going to do it well. The first thing he needed to do was get to the space station. Once he was in zero gravity, he pointed the ship towards the space station and hit the engine button. Soon it was moving there very, very fast. Once he saw the station getting closer and closer, he had to hit the engine button again to slow the spaceship down. As it got closer and closer, he made the spaceship go slower and slower. And eventually it connected with the space station. A door opened and he was finally able to go inside. He was very excited to be inside the space station. It was a lot smaller than buildings back on Earth, but it was very cool. The other astronauts taught him how to move around in zero gravity, and he also got to do some flips inside. It was so cool, he had a blast with the other astronauts. A few moments later, he heard a familiar sound. His tummy was grumbling, and he was hungry. A lot of astronaut food came in bright silver packages, or pouches, and needed just a little bit of hot water to cook. He mixed up a package of spaghetti, because spaghetti was one of his favorite foods. But it didn't taste very good. I guess it's hard to get good spaghetti up on the space station. After he finished eating, the other astronauts asked if he would like some ice cream. Well, he loved ice cream and said yes, but once again they handed him a silver package. It didn't feel anything like ice cream. It wasn't even cold. When he opened it up, it was a hard bar that was pink, brown, and white. They told Sam that a lot of food on the space station is freeze-dried. That way it can stay good for a long, long time. Sam ate the crunchy and not cold and not creamy ice cream. It was okay, but he preferred ice cream on Earth. After he ate, it was time to do a spacewalk. He put on his heavy spacesuit and got to a special door called an airlock. Once he went through, he was in space. It was very strange to see the Earth from so far away, but it was very, very beautiful. He loved seeing all the blue and green and the white of the clouds. It was the best scene he had ever experienced. After the spacewalk, he started to feel very tired and decided he would go take a nap. He went back inside the space station and asked where the beds were. The other astronauts laughed and said, we don't have beds on the space station. Since there's no gravity, it's really hard to lay down. So they took him to the special sleeping room and there were lots of sleeping bags anchored to the wall. He got inside one and instantly felt very, very comfortable. And slowly but surely, he drifted off to sleep. Sam had the same dreams he always had as a kid, of becoming an astronaut, flying up into space in a rocket ship, and seeing the Earth from far, far away. It was a happy dream, and one he had had many, many times. Suddenly his alarm went off, and he woke up. Then he realized his dreams had come true, and he was ready for another day of adventure in space.
Wow, space sounds like a pretty cool place. Do you want to go to outer space? What would you do there? That sounds cool. Do you want to try space food? Okay. Well, thank you for listening to the story. We hope to see you again soon. Bye.